Just a heads up on Monday, I'm going to try something a little different. Ever since the 2016 election, I've been wanting to interview people like normal people, not the morons that I would encounter in my old man in the street interviews. So I finally got around to doing it. And you may not know who this guest is, this first guest, but you definitely know the government agency that they work for. And it's in the news and there's a lot going on with it. So I thought I would get him on to talk about it. A little bit of technical difficulties uh, out the gate, and that was my fault. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what happened. I think I figured out I didn't lock the scenes in OBS, which I don't know why that would have even mattered, but they did move around a little bit. So his ear is cut off. There's some problems with the switching, but uh, the content is great. The guest is great. Very informative. I have some other guests lined up for the coming weeks and maybe coming months. Some of them pretty big. Some of them you know. Some of them you don't, but have some very interesting things to say. And I figure with a platform as big as mine, uh, with things getting pretty serious, with the election coming up now in just about five months, uh, I want to talk to these people. I'm sure that you'll want to hear what they have to say. I may be a terrible interviewer, uh, but the guests will be good. And after reviewing this interview, I didn't like you know, my interview style. I kind of sucked. A lot of ums and ahs and the questions weren't as smooth as I would want them to because I'm such a perfectionist. Everything just has to be perfect. And I'm you know, used to being able to do that with post-production and with editing videos and multiple takes and things like that. So let me know what you guys think. So in the future, if you see a video pop up in your feed that's you know 20 minutes or 30 minutes or an hour or however long they may be going uh, and there's you know like a split screen me and somebody else in the thumb that's what that is so let me know what you guys think in the comments i know that you will uh, i may be a terrible interviewer um i'll try to get some guests that'll just do most of the talking and <laughs> maybe i'll kind of make up for it so just a little experiment that i wanted to do and i figured with a channel as big as mine i can get guests to come on and they'll talk and like i said i've been talking behind the scenes with a couple people for the last few weeks so i'm just like hey you know if i start interviewing people you want to come on the show and so i don't know if it's going to be like a weekly thing or every monday or every friday but you know maybe periodically when there's things going on I'll try to get a guest on, and like I said, I'll try to let them do most of the talking because uh, I may be a terrible interviewer, and, and if they totally suck, if you guys don't like them, if it's boring, you know, then I'll then I'll cut it out. But just a little experiment here, and literally like after the 2016 election, I said, okay, now I'm gonna I'm gonna start interviewing people, and you know, like years earlier, I was you know doing interviews with people over Skype. And I thought I'm, I'm gonna do this again, especially now with everybody you know doing interviews on Skype and Zoom calls and everything. I said, all right, let me start talking to these people thought I'd switch it up a little bit and like I said things are getting pretty serious a lot of serious issues going on so uh, I figured maybe once a week or every two weeks or once a month or once in a while we can switch it up uh, so I know you guys will let me know what you think if you hate it let me know if you like it let me know if you want to hear more if you got any guest suggestions of who you want me to interview leave them in the comments and uh, in case you're wondering no I was not baked during the interview uh, my eyes were pretty itchy and there's lights like off the camera you know, off the webcam real shiny real bright so I don't do that uh, <clears throat> anymore I haven't done that for quite some time but in case you're wondering the answer is no despite the technical difficulties with the guest ear being cut off and there's some problems with the scene switching it's still definitely better content than what you would see on CNN or <laughs> anywhere else and I do kind of like the longer form interviews as you know because in a normal television segment or radio segment you know you got four minutes or seven minutes to interview a guest and it's just not enough time to really get to the meat of the issue so in some of these interviews you know who knows how long they'll go 20 minutes 30 minutes an hour two hours who really knows so just a little experiment that I am testing out so definitely let me know what you guys think. I know you will in the comments and with the ratings on the video. So stay tuned and I will see you soon.